I was just under the impression that he loved my child, that he loved Michaela. It's so nice to him, giving him money, buying him toys, just doing whatever for them, you know? And I just didn't ever see it getting here. Lord knows I would not have ever allowed my child to go around somebody that I didn't feel like she was safe around. The Colleen Police Department are investigating a late morning incident that left two children deceased and one woman in a local hospital. A six-year-old and 11-year-old are now gone following a domestic dispute between two adults, according to a news release issued by KPD. Michaela Martin was 11 years old and lived in Killeen, Texas. Michaela was described as a bubbly and energetic young girl. She loved school and spending time with friends and family. Those who knew her said she was truly a beautiful and positive little person. One of the things Michaela loved the most was spending time with her little cousin, Alyssa. According to reports, Michaela and Alyssa were first cousins. Their mothers, Brittany and Danielle, were sisters. Alyssa Whitfield was six years old and she also lived in Colleen, Texas. According to report, she was filled with such a big personality. She was a beautiful little girl, always smiling and laughing. Her mother stated she was a very happy child. Alyssa and Michaela were the best of friends, loved each other like they were sisters, even though they were cousins. According to Alyssa's mom, over the weekend, she dropped her daughter off at her sister's home for a play date while she went on a job interview and to run errands. She said she told Alyssa she loved her and hugged her goodbye through the car window in the driveway. She stated throughout the day, she did FaceTime her daughter and niece and watch them play in the house. However, during Alyssa's stay, Michaela's mother and stepfather, Kendrick Gaines, got into a disagreement that went left quickly. Following, Brittany received a shocking call from her sister concerning her daughter. My daughter had been shot and she said, this is real, come quick. And I, I dropped everything and I ran out of dinner as fast as I could. According to Brittany, when she got to the scene, the only person she saw was her sister being taken away. She says she asked repeatedly to see her daughter before she was informed she had been flown to the children's hospital. Brittany said a neighbor drove her to the hospital where doctors told her her daughter would not survive. I'm still in disbelief. It doesn't feel real. Well, chaos unfolded inside a Colleen home today. Three people were shot. Two of them were small children, aged 6 and 11. Sadly, they died. According to police, the man behind the trigger was a member of their family. Shortly after 11 a.m. on Saturday, March 12, 2022, police officers were responding to calls of a gunshot victim. When police arrived at the scene, they found Kendrick Gaines and his weapon in the front yard of the home where the incident allegedly occurred. They also found a 38-year-old woman suffering wounds before being told two children were also suffering from wounds inside the residence. 11-year-old McKenna Kayla was pronounced deceased at the scene. Six-year-old Alyssa was immediately airlifted to Temple's Children's Hospital in critical condition before she was pronounced deceased at 12.20 p.m. Danielle, the 38-year-old woman, was transported to a medical center in Temple in stable condition and is currently expected to recover, police said. At the scene, police spoke with a teenage boy who was inside the home that said he was in a different room when he overheard an argument following the sound of gunfire. The boy said he walked out and noticed Kendra Gaines holding a weapon. Then he ran to a neighbor's home to call for help. It was determined by police that all parties involved were related and that the investigation is still ongoing and more information will be released. Until then, the Bell County District Attorney's Office filed capital murder and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge against 39-year-old Kendrick Gaines, the retired U.S. Army soldier. Bond is set at $2.5 million. He has no prior charges in Bell County 
Army, the U.S. Army Human Resources Command confirmed that Kendrick served 20 years in the Army and retired in 2022 with multiple deployments and dozens of service rewards. Today, he is being held at the Bell County Jail. Many people around the city came out to support this tragic incident. Now the yard is filled with dozens of pinwheels in the young girl's honors after the community held a vigil at the home Monday night. Many are hoping that justice will be served in such a tragic case. This story is completely devastating. I will continue to keep the friends and family, their friends and family in my thoughts and prayers. I am completely lost for words. Please respect the victims in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And with that being said, don't forget to check on your loved ones. I heard sirens. I looked out the window. I saw some fire trucks and police cars and, you know, a lot of neighbors hanging out trying to figure out what was going on. Um, so I asked around and heard that there had been a shooting. This neighborhood has been pretty safe, pretty event free. I was a little shocked because I didn't hear anything this morning. I have small children myself, so my heart definitely goes out to the family.